Alice, what is the most requested video you've had this year? And why haven't you done it? Well, today we are doing it. I think we can all agree with the, the most commented post I've had this year is how do you make your glass eye custom? So we're gonna be doing a little tutorial today. It took me a few months to kind of get to my style and how I wanted to perfect these resin eyes and all of this stuff. And I hope you can understand that I didn't really wanna share my tricks of the trade while I was selling on Etsy. Um, speaking of, I don't think I'm gonna really do many more drops on Etsy. I have a few customs that are up there and I think that's probably gonna be it. Although I will be open to do like, um, commission requests, like maybe I'll do a commission post on Instagram or something sometime, but I don't think I'm really gonna do customs that much anymore. So whatever I make in this video will probably be my last LPS customs to upload online. So for that I kind of wanted to do a little tutorial video so you guys can learn how to do them yourself now that I'm kind of retired old lady. So first off, you're gonna need a base, whether it's a fake LPS or just an LPS that you already have. I'm gonna be using fake LPS in the demonstration, I order mine off AliExpress. I'll leave a link to a good lot in the description box where they sell like wonky LPS, like ones that are made to be fake but aren't at sellable quality so like their eyes would be like misprinted or something. Those are perfect for customs and they're really cheap. A lot of the supplies do add up which is why my customs always had a high price tag. Um, like I barely even factored in the amount of time it took for me to make each custom. Um, you're gonna need resin, you're gonna need glitters, you're gonna need paints, you're gonna need um, MSC, Mr. Super Clear, you're gonna need all of this stuff. <laughs> so let's just crack in with the process. The first question I get a lot is how do you get the eyes in the head? A lot of people think that I open up at the back of the LPS's head when in fact if you tilt the LPS upside down you'll see there's like an indentation big hole and I kind of cut around that instead so it's less noticeable like now you know the trick and you own one of my costumes, you could probably tilt it up and see where I've glued it back together, but at least it's not a big hole opening on the back of the head. <laughs> and I cut this open with an X-Acto knife, so be careful, don't make these pets if you are a child. Using resin, knives, Mr. Superclear is not good for children. Knives are sharp. Resin is bad for you, bad for your skin. Mr. Superclear is toxic, you're gonna need like a respiratory mask. These are big boy crafts. So prep the customs, cut the heads off, take off any paint markings that you don't want on the pets anymore. With that I use 100% acetone which is also not good for children. I use little cotton pads and q-tips just to wipe it away. Takes a bit of time sometimes depending on what pet is the base but yeah. And once that is done you can start cutting out the eye holes. Actually, I like cutting out the eyes before I take off the eye paint because I have a little bag of eyes. <laughs> it's a bit like Simply Nailogical with her bag of nail peelies. I keep my little LPS eyes. <laughs> I thought I could do like a cool custom with them where I just stick loads of eyes, but <laughs> I've just kept them in a bag. So the eyes. You just kind of cut around them really, really carefully. It's really easy to like put too much force in and then cut up the face. And then that pet is not usable. So you've got to be really, really careful. So you cut around the base of the eye shape and then afterwards you go in really finely on the inside of the head, if that makes any sense, and you try and get it as thin as possible. So when you fit the eye socket in, there's not a huge gap between where the, the, the pet's skin and the eye is, if that makes any sense. Um, hopefully the visuals are helping. You can also use a little Dremel tool that people use to like do fake acrylic nails sometimes. Um, that works really well but I just don't own one so if you have one of those you can use that. After that wash your pet with some water under a tap and it is prepped for the eyes I think. No it's prepped for painting. At this point you can do a little sketch if you have any plans or whatever. You could print out or download little bases you can draw designs onto. You could look at official LPS for inspiration, but I wouldn't recommend taking inspiration from other people's work because that can be seen as copying and you don't you don't want to do that. If you're really inspired by someone's work and you have this set idea, you can DM them, see if it's if they're okay with it. Um yeah, message them on Instagram or something. A lot of the times I just kind of wing my designs because I find it's more fun. Um, but that can 
either turn out really well or really bad so I'd recommend thinking of some ideas before you get started and then you can get painting and um, the painting process is probably one of the longer processes for me I'm quite a perfectionist so when I paint the eyelashes on it takes a bit. <laughs> Once it's all painted then you can spray it with Mr. Super Clear but if you don't want to use MSC you can use um, watered down matte mod podge unless you want it to be shiny and you can use regular shiny mod podge but the matte one definitely makes it look more authentic to how LPSR produced back in the old days. Mod podge is way cheaper and it works really really well but also Mr. Super Clear is more of like the the BJD kind of standard for when people do face paint. Face paint? Pa what are they? Like face ups is what they call them? I don't know. So if you really want to go all out, maybe you could use watercolours and things like that to make really cool designs on your pet. I'd recommend MSC, but if you're just using acrylic paint, maybe just Mod Podge would be cheaper and better. And you don't have to worry about like toxic fumes. <laughs> And once I've done the painting, I get onto the eyes. Once again, I like to batch make my things, so I actually have a box of eyes pre-made that I can just kind of pick and choose what I want to put in each pet. Um, but if there's a specific eye design I want to make, I make new ones. So, here's my box of eyes. Here's a tour of them. I've, there's not that many left, honestly. I've used a lot of them in my past things and I haven't really made much since, so. That's what's left. Also, I'm not going to be selling many customs anymore, so if you want to buy just the eyes and then put those into your own LPS, let me know if that would be a good idea, because I could do that. Because some people might not want to make the resin parts of things, because buying all the materials can be pretty daunting and expensive, so if you'll be interested in just buying eyes. But for my eyes, I do things a little differently. A lot of people use the moulds that are for ball jointed dolls, which work really well for LPS, but they just pour resin into them. But what I like to do is I like to make the whites of the eyes out of clay. That means that it's a lot lighter and the head's going to be less top heavy. And you can also um, cut it to size afterwards. I use Fimo Bake Clay. You can cut it to fit the eye as snug as possible. I feel like it's a lot more forgiving to use um, Fimo Clay, baking clay, whatever you call it, Sculpey, whatever's in your country. I just get that in white and then I pop them in the mold and then I bake them as a big batch. Make those little eye whites and then we move on to the resin part so i scoured the internet for like really high quality uv resin for my customs because cheap uv resin tends to yellow over time and i don't want someone to spend like 50 quid on a custom for it to yellow in a year no no one wants that so i don't want people to be sad um so what i like to do is i go over to sophie and toffee not sponsored and i buy their little tubes of high quality resin I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, I'll put it up on screen. But that stuff is really good and adds a really precise tip, so it's really perfect for um, LPS eyes. I like to use different varieties of gemstones, glitters, and like tiny micro glitters, and you can also use little like, what are they, like little nail designs? Um, like little metal things that can, you can stick on your nails. If you search online on like AliExpress, Shein, Romwe, those kind of cheap sites and look for like nail design accessories. I don't know what they're really called, like little little things you can stick on your nails. Those fit in really well for LPS eyes. Also when you use UV resin you're gonna need a UV lamp. I just use a nail lamp, it works perfectly fine. You can get little torches. I'd recommend the lamp because then you you have your hands free for a few minutes and you can start working on the next pair of eyes. So when I fit the eyes in the pet, I try to do it, it was kind of a slow process. I cut off as much excess as I think I'll need. I'll put the eye in the pet's head and then if I can cut off any more excess, I'll do that. And once I cut the eyes to size, I like to use um, two part, um, what's it called? Uh, oh my gosh, the names escape my head. It's really similar to the green stuff. There's like a lot of similar brands, but I use the one that's in a white colour, just so if you can see any around the eye, it will be white. Um, but it's like a two-part epoxy that isn't liquid form, it's hard to explain, but you knead it and then it turns into like a, a, a clay sort of, but it's a lot harder than clay. So I like to use that around the eye and then use it to stick it to the inside of the head. Um, but that's usually not enough, so once that is hardened over 24 hours I think it takes, I like to 
dab a bit of UV resin on the inside and then flash the UV light up into the head and usually it's really durable and good to go like it's not gonna move out of there and then you can super glue the head back onto the body and you're pretty much good to go yeah that's just how I make my, my resin customs if you're interested and doing that yourself and you have any more questions let me know in the comments down below you can also check out my etsy store where i have some of my customs for sale over there still they are probably the last ones i'm ever going to list up on there although i am open to doing commissions in the future so if you're interested in that and you're a serious buyer i don't really the amount of time wasting i've had it's uh... thank you so much to my patreons your support means the world if you would like to see my Patreon for as low as $1, you see all the behind the scenes of my LPS videos and all the behind the scenes of my cosplay, whether it's tutorials, all that, all the photo shoots and stuff. And also, if you like cosplay, follow me on TikTok. I do a lot of cosplay over there. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you learned a few things. I'll see you next time in another video. <laughs> Bye, guys.